So you're having audio issues and video issues with OBS syncing up. I had the exact same problem. So today's video, I'm going to show you the fix, how you can make your mouth move at the same time as the audio, which is something that makes sense. You want that to be the case. Well, open OBS up. You're going to start a recording. Once you've connected your camera and got your audio source sorted out, all you're going to do is that. Record a, a little bit of you clapping on screen so you can see your hands and you can see the audio moving. Stop recording and go into your video editing software, whether it be Final Cut, whether it be Premiere Pro. And we're going to simply open up Premiere Pro now. We're going to drag in that very clip of us clapping and you're going to scroll through the video first and make a little marker of where you see your hands meet. So that is going to be right there where the sound should be. And you can see how much of a difference it actually was in the first instance of mine. There was quite a gap there. What you're going to do now is to count the frames. So go to where that audio first starts or as close as where you can get to it there and hit the arrow across and count the amount of frames that there is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So quite a number of frames between the sound and the video. 12 frames. So go to um, this calculator here that calculates your frames to milliseconds. So I'm going to put in 12 frames and in this instance um, it was 60 frames per second. So if you are not sure of what your sequence was, go to your video editing, uh, go to the sequence settings, and it will tell you there, 60 frames per second. So 12 frames at 60 frames per second, and that's roughly 183 milliseconds. Now this will change slightly, but keep that number in mind. So we're going back to OBS. We're going to your mic settings, go into the advanced audio properties, and it's this setting here, Sync Offset. Now, I have played around with this a little bit. As you can see, it's in sync now in this video. So put that number in there. So it was 183. I did need to increase it slightly. There was still a slight delay. But put that in there. Hit the close button. And that's you. Now, if it isn't exactly that figure that's on the calculator, as I said, if it's a bit less or a little bit more, just move about with this little number. Now, what I will say, uh, this caught me out as well. This will not be in the live view, okay? So if you're putting headphones on and you're monitoring the sound and you're clapping and you're thinking, that's still not right, it will only show in the recording. So this delay will only appear in the stream or appear in the recordings. It won't be as live. So if you're monitoring, it won't, it won't affect it there. So do it again, just start another recording, clap again, go into your video editing and just see how out of sync it is, whether you decrease or increase that number. Hopefully that helped. If it did help in any way, hit the like button. Do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. And of course, let me know in the comments any other videos you'd like to see and let me know if this worked for you.